Okay, negative indices are not tricky. They are just like positive indices, only around the other way. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. So x to the power of minus m would be a negative index. The power here, the index number, has got a negative sign. That is equivalent to 1 over x to the power of m. What do we call something when it's 1 over it? We call it the reciprocal. Good work. So let's look at this in a practical sense. If I had the number 3 to the power of minus 4, that would equal 1 over 3 to the power of positive 4, which equals 1 over 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which equals 1 over 81. So you can see in this instance, 1 over 81 is going to be quite a small number. Normally we think of um, powers as giving us really large numbers. Of course, this isn't always going to be a small number. If I had um, 0 0.5 to the power of, say, minus 3, that would equal 1 over 0 0.5 to the power of 3, which would equal 1 over 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, which would equal 1 over, help me out here, 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.25 times 0 0.5 is 0.125, which equals 8. So you don't always get a small number when you do this. It really depends what um, the base number is. But you will always get a reciprocal of that base number to a positive power. So give that a go. I'd give that a, a thumbs up. These are not negative, they are a positive thing. Okay, so just because they're called negative indexes or negative indices doesn't mean you need to be negative about them. Okay, right, just remember that. Bye!